Hey everyone, Mitch here with another Protocase Tech Tip. Today we're going to be talking about the newest addition to Protocase Designer, the 3D Dimensioning Tool. Protocase Designer is our template-based CAD software that is completely free to use, it's extremely easy to be picked up and get started. It enables you to create, quote, manufacturable designs in minutes, even without any CAD experience. Protocase Designer already had a dimensioning tool located in the two-dimensional face editor, which allows you to dimension out the distance between design features such as cutouts, exclusions, that are located on the same face. This can be great for creating static measurements that persist when placing and moving features of your design. The 2D dimensioning tool is similar to the measuring tool, which is also located in the face editor. The measure tool allows you to move distances from different axes and provides a measurement that is updated in real time. Both the tools are super useful when you have the situation that calls for it. Like I mentioned, the dimensioning and measurement tool are located on the 2D view. But what if you want to get measurements while having a 3D view of the entire enclosure, or get measurements between features on two distinct faces? The release of Protocase Designer 5.4.8 added the 3D dimensioning tool. You can now easily add dimension lines when in the 3D viewer and use them to check and adapt your design. I'm going to hop on to Protocase Designer now and give you a run through of how it works, when to use it, and when not to. The 3D dimensioning tool is versatile with its uses, allowing you to place measurements for distances or vectors between and across faces. Using the 3D dimensioning tool keeps you from needing to open the face editor and provides you with a visible dimension that persists as you move around the 3D editor. So here in Protocase Designer, I've already placed some cutouts on my enclosure. I'll rotate to the face I wish to dimension on. You may have noticed Protocase Designer now highlights faces and edges when you mouse over them in order to give you a better visual indicator of what you are selecting. You can use the dimension tool like this to gain the height or width of a cutout. To do that, simply select the two sides of a cutout you wish to gain the height or width of. One more quick tip. You can use the dimension tool to get the diameter of a circle while in the 3D viewer. To do this, I'm going to rotate my face to where I have placed some circular cutouts. I'm going to select the edge of the circle, and then I will select anywhere it's on screen. As you can see here, my dimension line for the circle's diameter is now created. It can also be helpful to use snap points in order to select a specific point on your design. To choose the snap points you need, select the types you require from the menu on the right hand side of the screen. Let's go through what the different snap points do. Profiles are the endpoints of lines or objects. They can be corners or points of lines or a cutout. Midpoints are the center points of lines and edges. This includes the tangents of circles since they are comprised of four arcs and two semicircles. Centers are the middle point inside your cutout. Origins. These are based on how you place your cutout in Designer. Origins provide snap points wherever your cutout started. For example, the center of a circle or first corner of a rectangle. For this example, I'm going to select centers. Once you have selected the snap points which you would like to use, click the first point to begin placing your dimension line. When you click your secondary snap point, the dimension line will be created. You're able to see your line in the 3D viewer or on the menu on the right hand side of the screen. When you click your dimension line, it will open in that menu. allowing you to see the delta x, y, and z values. You can also cycle between those values by pressing the spacebar while having it selected in the 3D viewer. There is one super important caveat to using the 3D dimensioning tool that you should know. Due to the nature of creating a physical design from a 3D computer model, our manufacturing tolerances will affect the finished product. 
This could cause your dimension within Protocase Designer to not translate perfectly once your design is fabricated. This effect is compounded when trying to measure distances between features located on perpendicular faces as our angular tolerances will come into play. It is important to keep this in mind while you are designing and leave extra space to account for tolerances. Thanks for watching our Protocase Tech Tip on the 3D dimensioning tool in Protocase Designer. Please let us know any feedback you have in the comments below or head to protocase.com to contact us about turning your design into reality. We can manufacture your design in two to three days, whether you need just one or many. Thanks again for watching. Tune in next week for another Protocase Tech Tip.